वेलकम गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट व्हाट आर लॉज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स पावर्स आर इंटीसीस सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस दैट व्हाट इज पावर एंड एक्सपोनेंट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट हाउ टू सॉल्व एक्सपोनेंट्स हाउ टू सिंप्लीफाई एक्सपोनेंट सो फॉर द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड पावर्स वी हैव सम रूल्स हेयर सो फर्स्ट रूल इज दैट वेन टू पावर्स आर बींग मल्टीप्लाइड a raised to power m dot a raised to power n so it means that a raised to power m is multiplied by a raised to power n when we have same basis and a multiplication sign so we can add these powers combine these powers for example we have uh, a number 3 raised to power 2 and uh, multiplying 3 raised to power 4 so we can simplify it by adding powers we will write same base but powers will be added so we get 3 raised to power 6 next is a power law when a base have power and another power and bracket involved in it so how to solve it when we have this case for example we have 2 raised to power 3 we have bracket and raised to power 2 it means that we have to multiply these powers 2 is the base and 3 multiply by Two, so we get two raised to power six. So another form of this rule is that a raised to power m raised to power n. Here also a power has another power, but there is no bracket. So when there is no bracket, how you solve it? We have to solve this power. Two raised to power three multiplied by three. So here three power two. It means that three is multiplying two times. So you have to solve three multiply three. so we get 2 raised to power 9 so main difference in this rule and this rule is that if we have brackets and two powers then you have to multiply the power inside the bracket and the outside the bracket if you have no bracket then you have to simply solve this power 3 raised to power 2 it means that 3 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 9 next third rule is that when uh, two bases are being multiplied and they have a whole one power For example, two multiply by x have power three. Here, two bases and one power. So here is uh, three is power as whole. So we can separate it. A raised to power n, b raised to power n. It means that two have power three and also x have power three. So we can separate it. If we have this form, we can convert into this combined form. Next fourth rule is that a divided by b whole power n. So it means that a is being divided by b, and we have whole power. So similarly, here was multiplication, but here is division. So we can separate this term. For example, two by x is has power three. So we have two raised to power three divided by x raised to power three. So next rule is uh, when we have uh, same basis but division process, we have different uh, powers and uh, division process involved. For example, we have two raised to power five divided by two raised to power three. So then, what we have to do in when the multiplication, we have to add powers. But in the division process, we have to uh, subtract the powers. For example, we have two raised to power five divided by two raised to power three. So we get two raised to power five minus three, which is equal to two raised to power two. And next is a zero power rule, which is uh, we have any base to power zero, which is equal to one. Where a is not equal to zero except zero, so we can not write that zero power zero is equal to one. Okay, this is not correct. But other base, all bases are correct. Any number, for example, five raised to power zero is equal to one. Any number you can take uh, which have power zero is equal to one. And the last rule, but not the least, negative power rule. When we have any negative power, for example, two raised to power minus three. For example, we have two raised to power minus three, and we want a positive power, so we have to uh, take reciprocal of it. So we can make it positive how by taking reciprocal. So two will move under the bar, and power will be positive. Similarly, here we have if we have two raised to power minus three under the bar, then we can write it above the bar two raised to power three by one. So this is called reciprocal. so these are basic laws of exponents i hope so you got the idea so in the next lectures we will discuss these all laws one by one in details i hope so you got the concept 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल